To be honest, I don't really know exactly what this painting is about. I know that I grew up religious, but not Catholic, and have weird obsessions with drawing and painting naked people, and I guess it's not weird. I'm struggling to find the words to describe everything that's going on, and w I'm watching the video while recording this voiceover, and so it's going super fast, and I'm just like, ooh, brain's fuzzy, but anyways, yeah. I really wanted to use cadmium red as the main color for this and then just use the black and white to make a scale for it and I ended up going in later with a lot more charcoal as well which I enjoy doing. I love mixed media projects and I honestly really struggled with the nun's face this entire time and I'm still not happy with how it turned out but I'm freaking obsessed with the bishop's face so I don't really even care and it like works with the painting I'm just being extra picky and sometimes art is about letting go and I feel like I definitely birthed this fully and I'm ready to move on to the next thing and work on some commissions that I have but yeah I definitely should have used a bigger brush starting out as well and found some later on I just couldn't find my big brushes when I was starting this I definitely find the Catholic religion to be the most aesthetically pleasing even though I didn't grow up Catholic I just grew up um, I'm not exactly sure what sector of Christianity, but just Christian, I guess, but I know not Catholic because, yeah, but there are like a million different kinds. I went to quite a few different churches growing up, so, yeah, but I thought it would be cool to have this person kind of spread eagle with the vajay out facing a full moon and a concerned nun and then a creepy bishop taking a video and i feel like this perfectly explains how i feel about religion and how i see sort of religious icons i guess we could call them icons even though they're not specific they're just like a nun, I feel, is so symbolic of many different things, and especially for other women and thinking about the dichotomy of having a naked figure in front of her and her just being, like, really concerned, and then the bishop guy being like, yeah, let me get my iPhone out. That's kind of what I was thinking for this one. And I used a very dramatic reference picture for this as far as lighting goes. And I feel like that's why it was so hard for me to get her face how I wanted. It was so easy for me to get the bishop's face how I wanted. And normally, like, I have no problem at all painting faces. But for some dang reason, this one was so hard. If I were to do all charcoal for her face, I think I could get it done pretty well. I just have a, I just struggle with dramatic lighting and acrylic paint, but I guess that's good for practice for this one and goes to show that we're always learning, you know? If you're new here, hi, my name's Lily and I make art and I make videos about art and books and yeah other things as well but I think I'm making my channel more just it's going to be just about art and books because that's what I enjoy doing most and I love sharing that with you guys and you guys seem to love it as well and yeah 
as you can see, I definitely epically failed on that part of her face, so I just redid it and then failed again. It was so bad. I don't, I don't know why it was so difficult for me to get it down, but yeah, have you guys been making anything lately? If you follow me on Instagram, it's at smiling.plum or plum for art. Definitely send me things that you guys have made and follow me there. And if I dig your vibes, I will for sure follow back. And if you make art, I most definitely will probably follow back. But I love painting process videos and that's why I wanted to share this with you guys. I just set up a my studio space and it looks so much nicer now and so much better. I switched my bedroom and my studio room and both the vibes are better in both by, by far. And so I'm definitely going to be making more art. I have been scheming for art, <laughs> but it was just kind of hard for me to get the motivation to do it because the space I had was not ideal and I'm definitely a vibes girl if the vibes are not popping in the room then I'm not going to be making art I've been doing some drawings and writing actually exploring that but I'm so happy to get back into painting this is where I went in with charcoal, which I don't normally do as the top layer for paintings. I normally do it as the base when getting started and like projecting onto the canvas, but I feel like it works here. And adding those dramatic lightings in, as you can see, that's how the face kind of turned out for the nun. And then I also went in and did the charcoal body of the person figure uh, using my phone, so I didn't film me drawing it but yeah here's an overview i really love how the bishop's face turned out i'm obsessed and if you guys want to see the full glory of this go to my art instagram at plum for art so you can see with better lighting and an image because it was hard to capture with the size of this canvas and the dimensions and the quality of the film camera but yeah let me know what you guys think and i hope this inspired you to make art and was a fun little chatty video of me just rambling for eight minutes but anyways have a great day love you guys see you soon bye